everybody, it's Goody Parade, and I have Iris Clops, daughter of the Cyclops. I love fashion doll. I've been waiting for her. Can't wait to open her. Also, I just found these really adorable uh, sticker albums. Uh, Monster High sticker albums. They come with a little album and a little sticker pack. So I thought it's all about fashion and their little outfits and stuff. So I thought that goes with I Heart Fashion. Okay, well, let's look at her in her box. She is really kind of silly, scary, creepy, and fabulous all at the same time with her one eye. Her one big eye and her pretty eyelashes. <laughs> and again, this is the I Heart Fashion set. So we get a couple different outfits with her doll. So she, I like the outfit she's wearing with this bright colored dress with the eye on it and the green belt and then these eyeball tights and these cute little shoes with eyeballs. But look at these amazing pink boots. There's also a little outfit over here and a little outfit right up here. Super cute. Okay, you can kind of see her through the side here. You can also see her through the top. And there she is peeking out the side. Iris Clops. Her hand looks kind of freaky in that picture. She's got a little eyeball there. <laughs> Creepy and fabulous. I guess that's what Monster High is going for. And again, these the artwork on the back of these new doll releases has just been phenomenal. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. <laughs> All right, what does it say about her? It says, the mall is okay for other ghouls, but when Iris has her eye on expanding her wardrobe, she heads to the Planet Scarium gift shop, where the fashions are surprisingly stellar. Whenever she gazes upon an out-of-this-world outfit, she grips it fright so even her clumsy hands won't drop. Oops! So it sounds like maybe uh, Iris is a little bit clumsy. All right, well, let's set her free, shall we? And again, I always like these dolls, just once you get the plastic off and you can really see their pretty uh, artwork on their boxes. Oh, and see, she even has a little pair of black shoes that are kind of camouflaged in there. Super cute. Okay, back to getting her out. Okay, and she comes with a stand, which is important to me. I'd rather have a stand than a brush, but both is good too. That's a cute little piece of the uh, insert, save for art. little background too like a little closet store dressing room with the hangers <clears throat> and the mirrors and the little dressing room back here super cute all right miss iris let's see what we've got here <laughs> well she's one-eyed that is hysterical and she's got this kind of almost army green colored hair like a camouflaged green hair Little eyeball earrings, some green lips. Looks like a little green eyeshadow around the edges, and her bat swing eyeball necklace. And then this dress. This dress is what I'm all about. I love the dress. And she has some cute jewelry too. She's got some little chunky bangle, another chunky bangle, and some little ones over here. And then her eyeball handbag. <laughs> Gotta love that. That's just fun to touch. Fun to look at, fun to touch. And then her eyeball pants. And then these amazing shoes. Those are amazing shoes. One eye open, one closed. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, let's put her on her stand. We'll look at her other outfits and then uh, we'll try them on and see if they really look fabulous or what. This, I think it's going to be hard to beat this gorgeous dress she has on because that is just way cute with the eyeball hair. <laughs> Love it. All right, Iris, you just look fabulous back there while well, we have a look -see doodle here. Okay, first off, these boots. Look at those boots. This minor platform, giant wedge, bows all the way up the top, bow on the side. I mean, I like this set just for the fashions, really, even if you didn't like the doll, the fashions are amazing. And the other one, of course, is very similar. Gorgeous. 
Okay, now this outfit is still, I guess it's on a flat stand. It has a couple of, or it has a choker, a little clip-on choker blue necklace. And it looks like a little strapless, little strap, strapless dress. And then it has a little bolero jacket to go over it. And it has little bats all over it. That is pretty cute. And let's see, oh, here's the other outfit, which is a tank top, a Monster High Skelet little hot pink tank top with this cute little belt that looks like a superhero to me kind of and then this skirt that fell off while I was pulling it out of the package it's cute also a little tip um these little clear body inserts that come in some of the fashion packs they come in some of the single fashion packs too when you just buy the clothing sets these little clear body shape things I save these and a lot of my really pretty dresses that I store away my in my monster high uh, accessories clothing stuff I put the outfits on here just to kind of keep them all straight and in good shape and it's a good cute way to display your fashions too so might want to keep those might not we'll see oh and okay so we got that we got that we got those shoes we did not see although I'm only oh <laughs> okay these cute black strappies I love these these are simple but elegant. They kind of have a vintage look to them. With that ankle strap, really makes them really feminine. Well, I can't wait to get the other looks on her, so let's do it. Let's change her outfit up. she is oh you know what we're missing is the belt okay I will tell you that eyeball dress was a little difficult to get off I definitely had to get the pants off first and then slide it off just barely just so you guys know okay here she is and to me the shining part of this outfit what's with her arm here is it backwards <clears throat> the best part of this entire outfit right here are the shoes the shoes are amazing. Look at those. Beautiful. Okay, and there she is in outfit number two. All right, let's get to number three here. There we have it. Again, that one was a little tricky, but she's got a cute little blue choker, her strapless, I might add, very short dress with a little bolero jacket. And then again, I am just loving the shoes. To me, those are so cute. And they go with everything, right? Black goes with everything. Super cute. We can kind of, a little fashion twirl there. Maybe she should have her like hand on her hip. Yeah, looking a little sassy maybe, Iris. Hmm? So I don't know if you noticed, but um, you do many of the Monster High outfits, especially that have the um, tight 
ends on jackets and dresses, you have to take their hands off to get the clothes on and off. And um, some of them, I even, to get this jacket on was pretty tricky. I had to take part of her forearm off to get it on and then snap it back on. So just do it slow, take your time when you snap it on and off, and you should be just fine. So there she is, looking fabulous, Miss Iris Klops. All right, I'm going to stick her on her stand. I actually really like all three pairs of shoes, the blue ones with the eyes, the black ones that she has on now. And uh, of course, these pink boots are insane. I love them. Okay, well, I love Iris Klops. I heart fashion. Do you guys love her too, or is she too freaky? Is that eyeball thing just a little way too freaky for you, or do you love it? Let me know. All right, let's do um, my little sticker fashion book I discovered, shall we? This is, what is it? It's made by Stickerzine or Stickerzine. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. And it comes with a little packet here that says there's 28 stickers inside. Collectible sticker album. So it's a whole little album in there. And what does it say? It's a 16 page sticker album. It shows you how the uh, pictures are kind of have little blank areas. And then you fill them in with the stickers, which look like fashion outfits mostly. Okay, here is the album, which is really pretty stiff. It's like stiff, kind of waxy feeling, I'm guessing, so you can uh, put your stickers on and take them back off again. And it also has really pretty metallic accents. Just a nice, nice book. Collectible sticker album. Again, the back. All right, let's have a look-see doodle here. Oh, cute instructions. It shows you pictures of the fashions and you fill in the blank. It also looks like they each have a number on them and then the numbers on the sticker sheet so um, you can easily find where it goes and just confirm you're sticking it in the right spot. So the sticker zine or zine belongs to Beauty Parade. And there's the first one with Draculaura, Frankie, and Claudine. And there's a little page looks like just for Frankie with all her info on it. And then there's Draculaura's page. And there's some others, like doing sports in the gym. And Claudine's page with all her facts. It looks like there's a spot for their pets as well. And this is super cute. I can't wait to see the stickers. And there, oh, that's cute. It's like a little lover's page where we have Cleo's info here, but she's here with Deuce, and he's got a little spot over there too. That's really cute. And they're there at the beach, Skull Shores, no doubt. And Miss Laguna. Who do we have there? We have Gulia. Oh, and it's the dead tired girls getting sleepy. There they are. That looks funny with little no mouths there. Hopefully we'll get some mouth stickers. Oh, and here's a little waxy, you know, it's like a waxy so you can peel it on and off. Collect and trade your extra stickers. So that's a good sticker storage there. Okay, that is precious, but I can't wait to see what stickers we actually get in here, right? What do we actually get? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's interesting. It's a skelet. It does have a number. And it has like liquid in it. Can you see that? It's like liquid glitter water. And like a little charm or something in there? I can't quite. Oh yeah, no. It has a little Draculaura mouth in there, so maybe this goes to Draculaura's. All right, we'll put it there for now, and I know there's more in here. Can I get them out? Woo! Okay. First, we have this kind of see-through sheet. Looks like somebody's hair. Oh, cute little heart. Umbrella, shoes. And again, all the numbers, so we'll know where to put them in our book. And what does that say? Gulia. And there's some different outfits from different ones. And then we have this one. Is that it? I guess that's 28 stickers total. All right, well, why don't we stick them in our book, shall we? All right, I'm gonna just start. Are there any? Look like they go here. Um, boots, maybe not. Okay, I do see some of Frankie's shoes. Are those the right ones though? 1021, that says 1009, so that's not us. Is that Jacqueline 1006? No. Okay. 
Oh, I do have a Frankie Stein dress here, though. What number is that? 1019-1019. Okay. Cute. It's all metallic sparkly. Okay, anybody else on here? I see a tie, a Monster High, a little cheerleader outfit. Let's go. One, zero, four, three. Okay, we've got uh, Dracolor's boots. It's nice that it's kind of waxy, so if you don't get it on exactly how you want, you could take it off and reposition it. Didn't I see an umbrella? I did see an umbrella. Is that the right number? One, zero, four, four. That is. Okay, here's some sporties. Do we have any sporties? Is that a cheerleader? 1077. Okay, that looks like Frankie Stein's cheerleader outfit. All right, I don't think I'm going to do all of these because it's going to take too long, but let's, we know that's Laguna's pet, so let's go to Laguna's page. Oh, I happen to notice. We had Deuce's Dawn of the Dance pants here, but that doesn't fit that one either. <laughs> okay, oof. So I'm thinking this goes right here where Neptuna her fish. Yep, one zero or one one six six. So I only found these packs where you get the book and the sticker pack. I'm hoping I'll find where you can just buy the sticker pack so I can continue to fill fill this up because it will not fill it all up. Okay, this says Gulia. Let's find her real quick and get her name on there if we do, maybe. Gulia and Gulia. Gulia. Fabulous. Look how pretty that is. I mean, so when it's all done, it will actually be something really, really pretty. These are her boots. Is that the right one? Yeah, 1086. All right, let's do the boots and then I will stop for now. Also, I know I've been talking about this for a little while now, but I am going to get it together to figure out how to do some giveaways. And I'm definitely going to give away some of these sticker books. I bought several of them, so I think I'll do a separate little video on this book. And um, I'll do some giveaways. So make sure you subscribe so you can find out about my giveaways. And let me know what you think about everything. Okay, guys, that's it for now. All right, bye for now. Bye.